we don't know a ton about Dietrich Bonhoeffer's last hours, but what we know is he was a faithful Christian to the end. In the 1930s, he wrote his famous book, The Cost of Discipleship, but he's probably most famous for his decision to get involved in the plot against Adolf Hitler. And it was not an easy decision for him. The Nazis were getting more and more powerful, and so many people were bamboozled by the complexity of the situation. It's very easy for us with hindsight to say, oh, I would have done this, or the church should have done this, but it was very complex, very difficult, Bonhoeffer was a man who simply wanted to do the will of God. He was the leader of an illegal seminary, an underground seminary of the confessing church. Those are the good guys who uh, did not go along with the Nazified state church. He was not seeking uh, to die, uh, I think. Uh, he would not make his decisions based on fear. Uh, he simply wanted to know what would the Lord call me to do. And things were changing in Germany very dramatically, and Bonhoeffer was constantly asking the Lord to show him, now what do I do, now what do I do? This was a time where really when the SS gave orders to destroy uh, synagogues, to burn synagogues, uh, this was in 1938. He realized that this attack on the Jews was an attack directly on God himself and on the people of God and innocent lives are being killed left and right, more and more and more and more and more. When do we say, I have to stop him with violence? I mean, you realize that Bonhoeffer was always thinking these things through logically, but Bonhoeffer also knew that the God of the scripture uh, is the God of the scripture. And if he calls me to do something, who am I to even question it? Uh, there's a joy in obeying this God. If you're worshiping God, you know that he's exhorting you to act, he's exhorting you to take chances, as long as you're doing it unto him, as long as you're trying to obey him, even if you make mistakes, it's okay. And Bonhoeffer saw lots of people in the church who were afraid, they were acting defensively, acting fearfully, and saying, well, I better not do this, better not do that. Bonhoeffer said, well, better to do something unto the Lord than just hide and just wait for this period to pass. And when the time came, actually to get involved in the plot to assassinate Adolf Hitler, he did come to the conclusion that this was what God was calling him to do, uh, and he took action. He was very bold, and he was all about action. And just around this time, he was arrested for uh, his involvement in an operation to get seven Jews out of Germany. That's a far cry from being involved in the plot to kill Hitler. Then once that plot was uncovered, of course, Bonhoeffer's days were numbered. Bonhoeffer always understood that, that there's a price you pay, that there's a risk, that the difference between action and inaction simply has to do with faith. If you have robust faith in Jesus Christ, uh, you're a different person than somebody who is merely religious. From the moment he really got serious about his faith, Bonhoeffer understood that to, to give my life to Christ is immediately to give it up, to give, to give it away. So whether he takes it from me literally, whether I die, I'm already supposed to be dead to myself. That's the whole point of it. And so it gives you a strange freedom. You're free. In fact, we know that only about 18 hours before his death, he conducted a service. And this is just before the Gestapo knocks on the door and they drove him a number of hours uh, to Flossenburg. Uh, and at dawn uh, on the morning of April 9th, 1945, he was hanged. Bonhoeffer had this really uh, extraordinary and I would say supernatural ability to hear what God was saying, to get the biblical perspective. Uh, and he was astoundingly resolute. And then he was a champion, a hero in being resolute and not just for himself but in how he dealt with other people, exhorting them to act, not just to say, well, this is interesting, let's give it, let's have some more committee meetings, but to, to think it through to the bottom and then to act.